also above the site of a controversial Barrow pit in Chesapeake. A construction company wants to dig the sand and soil from the pit to use in local development projects. Chopper 10 flew over the site earlier today off Centerville Turnpike. Some neighbors in the nearby Woodard's Mill community say they have a big problem with that. Ten on your side's Asia Tolliver talked to several of them today. Asia. Well, guys, they have a lot of concerns from safety issues to road impacts and even health health hazards potentially, really. And they say that they want to voice their concerns and that way they can put a stop to this proposal. I hate to say, but for our region and our community, it just sounds like an awful, awful thing. They want to dig up sand. They could go somewhere where there's no population around it. A proposed borrow pit in Chesapeake is causing a lot of concern from people who live nearby. Basically, it's a big hole that's excavated to remove sand to be used in construction projects. This afternoon, Chopper 10 flew above the site, which sits on 117 acres of land. If approved, the pit, dozens of acres wide, would be west of Centerville Turnpike South between Forest Mills Road and Beaver Dam Road. Information from the permit application explains Vico Construction Corporation will be operating it from the landowner. Many residents in the Woodward's Mill community hopes it gets shut down by the city, like Nyla Rose, who lives about a half a mile away from the site. I moved from California for better air, and I know no matter what, when they start stirring up and digging and trucks loading and debris, that it's going to put particulates in the air that are going to probably affect me and my breathing. Stephen Rostano says the pit would be behind his house and his fears start with safety and the addition of dozens of trucks going in and out. You know, there's a lot of teenagers, young drivers that do Centerville in order to get to school. There's a lot of teachers and staff that use Centerville Turnpike. You're talking about 16 and 17 year old new drivers. He's also concerned about the flooding of septic wells and the long term effects on homes. 500 trucks, all the vibration. Um, and you're pulling, you're pulling out a lot of water, which can negatively impact foundations of houses and pools. Um, and so there's a lot of people who probably can't afford to have a, their foundation in their house crack. Now, we did hear from the landowner. He told us he had no comment on the topic, and then we reached out to the construction company, and they have yet to get back to us. Now, that planning commission meeting where this is set to be discussed is 7 p.m. Our Brett Hall will cover the story from there. In Chesapeake, I'm Aisha Tolliver. It's on your side.